what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so we had our first trade go down in so long last night very late at night last night as taylor Orton tucker has been traded to the utah jazz for patrick beverly and stanley johnson so today we're going to be doing a taylor horn tucker utah jazz rebuild before we get into today's video make sure you guys drop a like in this one subscribe if you're new to the channel as always greatly appreciated a couple things to go over before we get into this video i feel like this trade that we just saw went down kind of foreshadows some things that could possibly be going down as well whether it's a donna mitchell trade the lakers still trading russell westbrook so i decided instead of doing my new look utah jazz rebuild which i still haven't done yet I just feel like there's going to be another trade. I feel like Donovan is going to be traded soon. I don't know. It's just my gut feeling. So I'm going to save the Utah Jazz for the last team I have to do. And I'm hoping at that point it is a, or I guess until Donovan Mitchell is actually traded, then we jump in and do a new look Utah Jazz rebuild. But today I didn't really want to call it that because I feel like there's another trade coming uh, for the Jazz. I, I don't know. It just feels that way. I could be wrong. So I wanted to just tell this one, Taylor and Hort Tucker, Utah Jazz. And then if the trade actually happens with Mitchell, then we can go ahead and do our new look Utah Jazz rebuild as we've been doing. But, and then as far as the Lakers are concerned, I just did a new look Lakers rebuild not too long ago. They got Patrick Beverly. If they do end up trading Russ Westbrook for like Miles Turner and Buddy Heald potentially, uh, then obviously we'll do a rebuild on that as well. But just Beverly being over there, I don't know if I'll really do a video on it. We'll see. But if we take a real quick look at uh, obviously, well, I actually want to tell you guys as well that I went ahead and traded Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks as well for this video because it just seems like, like I said, it's going to happen. So instead of me having to trade Donovan Mitchell on my own and not getting a good package in return, because that's kind of hard to pull off in 2K to get like a superstar package, I went ahead and just did it beforehand. So THC is Stanley Johnson headed to the Jazz uh, for Patrick Beverly, as we know. And then I went ahead and did the Don Mitchell for Quentin Grimes, Reddish, Evan Fournier, uh, and then a bunch of draft picks, which I included five in this one. And then I included, and I had to spillage over a little bit. So Mitchell is now a New York Nick. And then this is what our Jazz roster is looking like. So then we now have uh, Evan Fournier, which is somebody who's not going to be here long term, but he's here for now. And then you have Cameron Reddish. You also have THT. And then we also got Quentin Grimes in the trade as well, which we're looking to develop him because he seems like he could be really good. So I'm honestly going to start him right away, I imagine. But now I want this to be even bigger ripple effect. I want to continue to make trades. I don't want to just go into this next season with Conley and Bojan and Clarkson. And these are the three guys I'm looking to move next. Malik Beasley, I'll probably move him in the trade deadline. So if we can move these three guys right now, that would be awesome. If I can get some picks pick equity right now at this moment i will take it so that's the first step in this video to continue to tank with this team and develop the players we got so trading Bojan Madonovic to the Dallas Mavericks, we get Davis Bertans in a future first round pick in return. All I was looking forward was for a first for Bojan, and we got that, and we take on Davis Bertans' contract, and the Mavericks get better with Bojan Madonovic in Dallas. So I think that trade makes sense for both sides. Next is Jordan Clarkson. So I'm hoping a team is willing to give me a first, and there we go. We got one from the Bucks. As long as I can get at least a first round pick for all three of these guys, I am satisfied. Capella, I don't think the Hawks do that. I'm going to try to be as realistic as I can here as well. Joe Harrison a first. Uh, O'Shea Brissett, uh, Chris Boucher. None of these are really standing out to me right now as a trade that makes sense. I guess this one could make some sense because the Suns are looking for another guy that could create his own shot. Uh, but I want a first. I don't, I, I'm don't. i I'm okay with taking Landry Shamit, but I want a first-round pick in return. So if you're willing to give me a future first for Clarkson, he is yours. They want Stanley Johnson, who we just got in the trade in a second-round pick. Sign me up for that, and we get a first-round pick for Clarkson, and they take on Stanley Johnson as well. So that is Jordan Clarkson and Bojan Madonovic move. The next one is going to be Mike Conley. So this one's probably going to be the toughest one to move, I imagine. But we're going to give it a shot. So let's see what we got going on with Mike Conley. Might have to just let him walk in the offseason if I can't find a good package. So Rozier, I'm not looking to take on like long-term salary. Or we could make another trade to the Lakers and get Russell Westbrook and we get a future first. So we guess we could do this. Kind of add on to the trade. We sent Evan Fournier and Conley to the Lakers. So if the Lakers can't get Buddy Heald and Westbrook, maybe look for Conley uh, or Buddy Heald and Turner, I should say. They get Conley and Evan Fournier. That trade makes some sense in a way. Tim Hardaway, first round pick uh, from the Nets. I mean, they have Kyrie Irving, so I don't think they really have room for Mike Conley over there. So honestly, I think that Lakers trade makes a ton of sense. Or it could get D'Lo as well. We're trading to first, which we don't want to do. So that is the trade that's making the most sense to me. Uh, Lakers get Evan Fournier and Mike Conley. We get a future first. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take this trade. And we get Evan Fournier's salary out of here. We obviously have Russell Westbrook for the year. I would most likely just buy him out here. But obviously, if I bought him out in 2K, it like automatically stretches his money. 
So he'll just kind of stick around this year. I would just buy him out, like I said, but his money will be stretched, which maybe it doesn't really matter if we stretch his money because we're not really a free agency destination anyway. So yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna release him. We're gonna release Russell Westbrook. Release him out of here. And those are our moves. So Russell Westbrook is out of here, and now our team is officially in full on tank mode this is what i want to see the jazz do in real life and now the web and yama sweepstakes is what we're going for so player progression we got vanderbilt going up reddish is going up tht is going up which is great but obviously like i said we're going for web and yama and i'm going to put my starting five together we can look at it together and we'll be ready to go this season so this is what the rotation is going to potentially look like so i want to start quentin grimes i want to start tht and i do want to start cameron reddish vanderbilt as well yudoka azabuki it doesn't matter we can start kessler either way it doesn't matter but uh we're getting some guys some minutes but i want to go ahead and mess with some shot tendencies this year proficiency is super bad we're a two-star system so this is full-on take mode in utah would you love it but uh shot tendency i do want i do want to mess with them a little bit so I actually want to push Quentin Grimes up like crazy just because like I want him to become an absolute stud for us So I am gonna push it up to like a 90 and then I'm gonna do the same thing kind of with THT Like him and Quentin Grimes want him to take a lot of shots and along with Cameron Reddish as well Why not? So and then that Malik Beasley will go like 75 off the bench because I'm probably gonna end up trading Malik Beasley for a first of the trade deadline as well So there's still some guys. I feel like I could move for some picks, but that is the shot tendencies I want to roll with. I want, and then Butler's shot tendency is a little high for me. So I'm going to boost it down a little bit, like a 72-ish. And then Quentin Grimes and THT, I want taking the majority of the shots. So let's see how bad we are this season. I'm actually really excited to see it. And then we're probably going to be stopped at the trade deadline to kind of see uh, who we can trade for or maybe get some more picks. Like we're just trying to add as much assets as physically possible here. So Russell Westbrook ended up in Dallas backing up Luka Doncic, which is cool to see. He won six men of the year. So a lot of people are saying, well, you know, some people have said if Russell Westbrook, you know, does get bought out, he doesn't sign anywhere and then he retires or something weird like that. But no, not in this case. He becomes six men of the year. So what are you talking about? I don't know if Westbrook has the pride, though, to come off the bench, man. That just sounds kind of weird to think about. But 17 from Quentin Grimes to end off the season, 17 from Reddish. So I wanted to trade Malik Beasley at the deadline, but really nothing popped up. THT with 15. And then 12 from Jared Butler and then 8 from the Alexander Walker. But of course, we were bad as possible, which we kind of figured would be the case. Uh, so we are glad and we are looking to win in the draft lottery to get Webb and Yama to add to this team because we definitely need him. So we have the Celtics going on to win the championship. They beat the Lakers in four after getting Beverly. We got Chris Paul retiring. Rudy Gay is going to retire here in Utah. Okay, draft lottery time. This is a big one. This is a big moment for us. We need to figure out whether or not. We win the number one overall pick. We tanked for a reason. We need number one or number two at the very least. I would be okay with getting Scooter Henderson as well. So give me some luck. But of course, I want Webb and Yama for the most part. We are projected one and two. Uh, that Rockets pick, I'm not really sure. Is that from the Knicks trade I just made? I don't know. You know what? I'm not sure if that pick's protected or not. But if it isn't, then maybe we get... Uh, the set. Wait, that might be from the Nets, from the Royce O'Neal trade. Actually, I think that pick is ours too. So we have double the odds of getting... Web and Yama. So we might be in the clear here. So the Trailblazers number 12. As long as no one jumps up, we should be golden. We should be getting the number one overall pick. We have double the odds because I believe that pick that we have, which is the Rockets pick, is from the Royce O'Neal trade. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. We'll see though. Number 10. So far, no surprises. We have Detroit number 10. Okay, W. So no surprises yet. As long as the top uh, or the bottom eight sound or look the same. I think we have a really good chance Pacers number nine and they move up So the Pacers jump up to four not a good sign Rockets number nine uh, from the Bucks And then so it is not the Rockets. Well, no, that's the Bucks pick never mind So number eight from the Thunder so only one team has moved in so we're kind of still okay for now the magic number seven that is going to be the magic okay so we have a top six pick that's not too bad as long as we have a top two top five picks i mean we we should be good to get a couple good players which we do but of course we want the grand prize we want web and yama here like what more did we want well this is where we came here for number five is going to be the rockets okay is that our pick i actually don't know i'm not sure if that was the pick i was looking at earlier but the hornets number four as long as this isn't us i'm all right we're top three okay Looking good. Pacers. Hopefully, Pacers are number three. Well, let's see his prediction is Hornets. Hopefully, it is Hornets. It is the Hornets. Okay, so we have number one or number two. We are clear right now. I don't know if that means we have both these picks. Pacers. No, this would be the Pacers, right? Please be Pacers. Please be Pacers. Let's go, baby. We have won the Victor Webb and Yama sweepstakes. Let's 
freaking go. That's exactly what we came here for. We have won the Webb and Yama sweepstakes, brought him into Utah, and now he is going to be our brand new center. So that is a absolute W. This is exactly what we were looking for, and we won the lottery. That's all we wanted. So we actually have five first round picks in this draft. So we have Mavericks number 15. We have 23 from the Nets, 26 from the Knicks, and then 27 from the Timberwolves. So a lot of picks here, but of course the grand prize is the number one overall pick. And then as far as what we have here right now, there's really no one we're looking to trade, obviously. So Vanderbilt was upset through us, you know, upset with us throughout the season. So Vanderbilt is somebody we could probably trade away and get some pick equity for him as well if we wanted to. I uh, like the Bulls give me two first round picks. Like, I honestly think uh, Vanderbilt is one of those guys could, could go for that much. The Knicks are looking to offer me that as uh, more first round picks, which is great. So I, uh, I don't know. The Suns are looking to give me a couple first round picks. I mean... If somebody wants to give me a couple picks for Jared Vanderbilt, I'm so down. Chicago definitely could maybe use this. Getting unprotected Portland pick. And you know what? Let's stack up on the draft picks. I'm going to trade Vanderbilt. He was upset with us throughout the season. And I think a lot of contending teams would love Vanderbilt. So we just get more draft equity, which we cannot complain about. We're feeling like Sam Presti right now. Look at all the draft picks we have, man. That is a freaking treasure chest. That might be more than the Thunder. But let's jump into this draft. We get to draft five new players on this Jazz roster. So number one, of course, we all know who it's going to be. It's Mr. Webinyama bringing him into Utah. He's our brand new center, Victor Webinyama. Welcome to the Jazz. Number 15, right outside of the lottery. What do we got here? So we have uh, one of the Thompson brothers, which I kind of like the idea of. 6'8". Keontae George, Damian Collins, Adam Bona, Amari Bailey is also here. Um, I'm going to take Asar Thompson, or how are you? I don't think I'm saying his name correctly, but number 23 in the draft, you have Trace Jackson Davis, you have uh, Jamie Drasquez. I'm not the you know biggest draft connoisseur, so I don't really know who's good and who's not. Um, so I'm going to go maybe, do I draft Alex Fudge here? Do I take a center? I don't know. Uh, Phillips, we got Sid City here, MJ Rice. I'll go ahead and take City here number 23 and honestly the rest of these i'll take trace jackson davis and then i get oh then we have back-to-back -back picks here so back-to-back -back picks and then at number 27 28 whatever this is adam bona as a new center project i guess we'll take him as well so that is going to be our draft so we come away with webb and yama the rest i'm not sure if i did great or not but i know thompson is great so we got him and then we also got uh, city which is great and then we also got trace jackson davis and we got adam bono so not too bad we got five new players coming into utah not sure if all of them will get minutes or uh, be a huge part of what we do here web and yama will of course and then uh, malik beasley i'm going to accept because i feel like i can get a first round pick for him as well honestly and then tht is a free agent he is the title of the video so i do want to bring him back and then alexander walker jared butler and reddish i mean i think i want to bring those three guys back but it won't hurt my feelings if we lose them all so um first and foremost i do want to resign tht to a four-year deal so let's go ahead and do that so tht lock him up and we got him locked in boom that's great and then next uh let's see so we got right now no point guard we have quentin grimes but i'm gonna go ahead and free up that spot for my man um quentin grimes gonna train league beasley away so we're going to look for a first round pick the grizzlies are off me vince williams on a first i'm okay with that the grizzlies get malik beasley i wanted a first round pick and we got it so Quentin Grimes is our new shooting guard uh, going forward. THT right now is our small forward. We have Lonjo Barmero and Vince Williams. You have uh, Thompson, who we just got in the draft. You have Trace Jackson Davis, Davis Bertans, and then you have Victor Webb and Yama, uh, Yudoka, and then Walker Kessler, Adam Bonus. So a lot of depth at the center spot. Right now, we currently don't really have a point guard at the moment, so that might be something we should be looking for, uh, unless we just play reddish there. I mean, it just kind of depends what we want to do. So we could sign like a Kevin Porter Jr. in free agency and bring him into Utah or Ayo DeSumo. We could do something like that. We have the money to do it if we wanted to move on from Reddish just because we kind of have, you know, guys we want to look forward to already. Unless we want probably like Reddish at the power forward, which I guess we could do. I mean, nah, he's kind of short though. Should I really be doing that? I don't know. All right. Power forward position. You have Grant Williams. You have Jenkins. You have Boyan, who obviously was just in Utah. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sign... Maybe like an Ayo Desumo to be my point guard going forward in Utah. Give him an opportunity. I think that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. He ends up being pretty good. I'll give him a three-year deal to be my brand new point guard in Utah. So welcome to Utah, my friend. And then I'm debating on whether or not... I don't want to bring... I honestly don't want to bring back Alexander Walker. Butler, I wouldn't mind bringing my, bringing my uh, backup point guard. Being my backup point guard. And then uh, do I want to sign Reddish back? I honestly don't think I want Reddish back, which is crazy, but... 
I don't think I want him. I think I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let Reddish go. I like what I have already. So that sounds crazy, but I'm going to do it. And then Butler is like the only other guy that I kind of want back. So Jared Butler off the bench. I wouldn't mind him uh, being my backup point guard to back up Ayo DeSumo. So we move on from Reddish. And this is your brand new rotation. So it's Ayo DeSumo, Jared Butler. You have Quentin Grimes, Landry Shamit, Taylor Horn Tucker, Thompson. And you have Trace Jackson, Davis, Bertans. Power four position is kind of poverty right now, honestly. But that's okay. So play regression. Webb and Yama's up. You got Dasumo up. THT is up. Quentin Grimes is up. Udoka. Jared Butler is up. So guys are developing, which is a good sign. We're probably going to still be bad this next year, which is fine because maybe we could double down and draft Bronny James or Mikey Williams in this next draft and pair him alongside Webb and Yama. So if we're prepared, I'm prepared to be bad again, and that's okay. So at the end of the season, Luka Doncic, your MVP. Webb and Yama does win Rookie of the Year here in Utah, but we were pretty bad. We were a very bad team again, which we kind of figured would be the case, obviously. So uh all rookie first team for web and yam which is cool and then uh did thompson make it he did it as well so i actually started thompson at the power forward position he averaged 13 which is great love to see that but yeah i moved him to the power forward spot and i think that worked out perfectly so 19 for quentin grimes which you love to see because i want to see him continue to develop for us tail and horn tucker with 18 i do sumo with 15 and 4 then 14 for web and yama so feeling pretty good about what we've seen so far i mean our starting five obviously needs to be upgraded still but you know, just letting those guys get the opportunity to develop a little bit. It's kind of working out kind of well, so I'm happy with that. And, of course, we're going to have another lottery to pay attention to. The Celtics go on to win a championship again. LeBron James retires this year. Gallinari retires the Celtic as well. Going to draft lottery time. Uh, we might be projected number one again. And if we can get number one, then I'm down. It says the Thunder have our pick, which I'm not sure is protected at all. So, hopefully, it is. And it doesn't look like we have another pick in here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. And we end up with the number five overall pick in this draft. So we have number five, uh, which it looks like our pick was protected. So number five and number 18. So that's great, but we could still get something pretty good in this draft. So we have number 18, number five, and I think that's it, which uh, is great because it doesn't feel as overwhelming if I have five picks in this draft because I don't know where I'd fit everybody if I did. So guard guru, I'm gonna go, go ahead and hire somebody and then wing whisper, and then we're jumping into this draft and probably gonna be looking to draft Bronny James, honestly, to be our brand new point guard if he's there at number five. So jumping into this draft and going to number five overall, right now our point guard is Ayo Desumu, but that might be replaced by none other than probably DJ Wagner here, honestly. I think uh, Bronny James has already been drafted. So we have Mike Williams going off the board and Bronny James went right before. So it looks like we are going to be taking DJ Wagner here with our fifth overall pick to be our brand new point guard next to Webb and Yama going forward. And then as far as what we get later on, I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter too much. Probably some better power forward depth, although I really don't even know what's good. Honestly, just go with the CPU deal with this one. I don't even know what to grab at number 18. I already feel kind of overwhelmed as it is. So DJ Wagner actually was an 82 overall. So happy with him coming in. And we got a Killian Malwaya, uh, which is a crazy awesome name. Leandro Balmero, I'm going to decline. Breton's going to decline. And Quinn Grimes is going to accept, of course. Qualifying offers, Udoka and Vince Williams are both free agents. Honestly, I don't think I'll bring back Udoka as a bookie. We kind of have our center pairing and Kessler and Webb and Yama right now. So Yudoka is more than welcome to go sign somewhere else. And then Barton's obviously not really a part of the long-term plans. I could go out here and sign a Halliburton or something like that, but I kind of want to give Wagner uh, a uh, chance here. And then you have Quinn Grimes, Landry Shamit. We got Killian here to be our backup shooting guard. So Shamit is another guy that I'm probably going to be looking to move here. THG at the small forward spot. Then you have Thompson and Trace Jackson Davis and then Walker Kessler and Webb and Yama. So things are starting to look really good here. Uh, at this point, Jared Butler might be another guy I look to move away just because there's kind of a uh, log jam in a way. Or what we could do is can Killian or Sid? Well, I guess City could probably move to small forward. He's kind of tall enough. So City will move to small forward and he's going to go up to a 77. So he's our brand new backup three to backup THT. And then we'll have Landry Shamit probably get moved. And then we'll have uh, Jared Butler probably get moved as well. So or he can move, I guess, the sumo if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and for sure move Landry Shamit if I can get just like a second. Or if, I mean, I can get a couple first rounders for him, I guess. I'll take a uh, top three protected pick. Sure, why not? If you want to give me a first for Landry Shamit, go ahead. And then the other one was, of course, was Jared Butler, which I do like him. But at the same time, if I can get like I can get Spring on a second, I can get Dale and Terry in a second. I can get a first from Cleveland. A first from Atlanta again. So it looks like I'm getting a couple first round picks off to me. Or even getting like uh, Trey Murphy and a second from the Pelicans. A brand new backup power forward. Sign me up for that. We'll go ahead and grab Trey Murphy. And I'm cool with this. I don't sign. I'm not going to sign any free agents. I kind of want to see what Dasumu, 
DJ Wagner and then Quentin Grimes and THD development can do for us. And Webinyama is going to go up. So player progression. After all that, we have Webinyama going up. We have Quentin Grimes going down, which is weird. And then Thompson 79. So everyone's developing. I thought Quentin Grimes and for or Taylor Horn Tucker would develop even more, but they're not right now. So a little disappointed in that. So hopefully, uh, probably their, pro their progression is probably not very high, which kind of sucks, man. That's why I wish 2K uh, would like adjust progression based off where these guys are at. Like right now, they could definitely progress into something really good where they're at right now. Uh, but right now, we're power ranking number 20. So we finally move up in the power rankings, which might lead to something good. Who knows? So we have DJ Wagner, Quinn Grimes, CHT, Thompson, Webb and Yama, Desumu, City, Udoka, and then Trey Murphy. So I think this could lead to a really good season this year, potentially. Three and a half, seven seconds. Maybe this is our year where we get in the playing tournament or playoffs. I feel like that is definitely a possibility. So let's get it. So I said this could be the year where we do get in the playing tournament. And it looks like DJ Wagner, Webb, and Yama were able to lead us to that as Wagner wins rookie of the year. So now we have a really good pairing and Wagner and Webb and Yama going forward alongside Quentin Grimes and THT. So I'm feeling very good about what our team is looking like. We got the eighth seed in the Western Conference. So we are in the playing tournament. So we had 19 from Wagner, 18 from Webb and Yama. 17 from DeSumo off the bench. You had 17 from Quentin Grimes, 16 from THT, and then 12 and a half from Asar Thompson, 11 from City off the bench. So feeling pretty good about how the rotation is looking. Webb and Yama and Wagner should only develop even more. Uh, can we get out of the plan though? We do end up losing, so that sucks. But let's see if we can get out here and get to the playoffs for the first time. And we do get to the playoffs as we beat the Thunder. DeSumo drops 28 in order to get us there. So now we get the Memphis Grizzlies in round one, which we want to buckle down and give the Grizzlies some problems here. We are a young up-and-coming roster, not to be slept on. So let's see if we can push the Grizzlies to their absolute limit here. So uh, I guess got a seventh plan. But game one, we're up 1-0. So that is a good start. That is a statement game. We take game one from the Grizzlies. You take game two as well. Do we sweep them? No, I was about to say. They're probably going to even it up here, right? Three to one. Okay. I'm the eighth seed. I'm the scary eighth seed this year. Let's go. We end up beating the Grizzlies in round one. And now we get the Houston Rockets. So we get to round two. Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr. Uh, the Rockets have a good team. They got Christian Wood back as well. Uh, we do even it up with Houston. Up two to one. No way we make it to the conference finals, right? Bro, come on now. Are you serious right now? We are in the conference finals as the eighth seed. It feels good to be the eighth seed for once, I guess. Things are going super well right now. I was not expecting this kind of push this year. But hey, to go to the plan to the finals would look beautiful. I mean, already going from the plan to the conference finals is kind of beautiful. So game one, we're down one to zero. I mean, is it really going to end to Denver? Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks so bad. We get swept by Denver. But you know what? That gives me excitement going forward. The fact that we're able to go from the plan to the conference finals we got something brewing, man. Denver goes on to win the championship. We're going to run this one more year. And honestly, a lot of crazy retirements here. Look at all these guys retiring. Russell Westbrook, Derek Rose, Drew Holiday. Feeling old. How am I going to feel old when that happens? Let's go to draft. I don't even know why I'm saying that. Like, I, I didn't see these guys get drafted or anything like that. But we have the number three pick from the Timberwolves. Okay, that's overwhelming as hell. What am I going to do? I have how many picks do I have in this draft? One, two, three, four, five. I have five picks in this draft. Six picks. What am I going to do with all these draft picks, bro? Do we go do we go out there and make a crazy trade real quick? Do we get even better somehow with all these draft picks? I feel like we got to, right? So we just upset the Grizzlies and round one. So they have to be absolutely fuming right now. So you know what? We're going to try to get Jaron Jackson from them. We Our power forward position is Thompson, which I do like. But I could have a Webb and Yama, Jaron Jackson front court. Defensively, that sounds absolutely killer. So I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go six, seven, and ten for Jaron Jackson right here, right now. Six, seven, and ten for Jaron Jackson they don't agree to that. I'm okay with trading all these picks because honestly, at this point, we kind of have a rotation and we keep the number three overall pick. And Garrett Jaron Jackson be our brand new power forward here in Utah. So that means Thompson will be backing him up. He's our new power forward alongside Webb and Yama. Absolutely beautiful. This is looking amazing. I'm feeling great. And now I can go ahead and see what we're getting with the number three overall pick. Although I have no idea who's good. Uh, looks like Nasir Cunningham is the best player available. Welcome to the Jazz. Don't know anything about you, but he's a 79 overall, so we'll see. Not really sure if he'll get minutes or not. Uh, player option, or he probably will. We'll accept all, but everybody qualifying offers Trey Murphy and Quentin Grimes. I do want to bring back Quentin Grimes. Uh, he's been great for us, and Giannis is a free agent. You might as well go sign Giannis on the Kumpo. Now, I'm going to sign Quentin Grimes back, and then we call it good. So, Trey Murphy, you Udoka Azubuki, I'm not going to worry about as much. So, Mitchell can bring back to Utah as well. Not going to do that, obviously. Quentin Grimes on a three-year deal for as much money as he's wanting is an absolute steal. So we'll do that. 
And I'm going to renounce Trey Murphy and Yudoka Azubuki. I don't even want the back. So we are running this year one more time with the roster we have currently. I'm feeling on top of the world right now after getting Jaron Jackson. We have Webb and Yama up to a 92. Wagner's up. We have uh, Thompson up. We have DeSumo up. Taylor and Horn Tucker and Quinn Grimes are not moving too much, which is a, a little disappointing. But we have our team. We literally just made it to the conference finals. It's, re it's, it's time to run it back and get back there this time. And this time be like the first seed, I would say. So at the end of the season, Victor Webanyama wins MVP 23 and 15, shooting almost actually no, I was almost about to say he's shooting 50, 40, 90, but not even close. 50, 40, 76. Okay, it's not 90 at the free throw line, but I'm assuming we got coach of the year as well because we literally ran through the league. Yeah, we got coach of the year. Uh Will Hardy, coach of the year, W. So all NBA first team we get Webanyama, of course. Do we get like a DJ Wagner here as well? No. So all defense first team. Of its tag team, we got Jaron Jackson, so yeah, our front court was kind of nasty. So we went from the eighth seed conference finals to the first seed, hopefully, to a championship this year. If we end up losing, I don't know how this team is so good. I feel like we're about to just run through these playoffs. So let's even get to that. Our rotation was like this, and we get the Grizzlies round one. Imagine they upset me here, they get the revenge from last year. But this was your rotation, they wanted to start to see her Cunningham, which I'm okay with. Yeah, I mean, this is just a really good lineup. So hopefully no upsets here. Somebody current round against Memphis. Bro, if we lose to an eighth seed, I'm out. Literally, I am so out of here. No freaking way am I losing to an eighth seed in round one. Like, this would be the ultimate revenge for the Grizzlies. I just stole Jaron Jackson from them. And they're going to beat me in round one. Bro, I hate this game. Oh, uh, please, please don't lose to Memphis. Please, please. I just stole your bet one of your best players. Bro, this game is so stupid. Stupid, bro. The eighth seeds are... I give up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.